It is the 15th of the 8th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. I've been pulling double shifts, covering vacations and uh, employee losses at the shop uh, last few days. So this week's going to be a little crazy. Next week I'll get back to normal a little bit, if you want to call it normal. Let's go and get started on salt.net. Residents in the Cumberland County, New Jersey community were left wondering what caused dozens of birds to drop dead from the sky earlier this week. We've got some more bird deaths. Hundreds of thousands of dead fish in Texas linked to toxic concentrations of algae. Uh, increased concentrations of red tide algae likely killed, left hundreds of thousands of dead fish washed up over the weekend in Galveston beaches. Big fish kills in the Gulf of Mexico. Flooding in central Nigeria kills at least 28 people. Uh, caused by heavy rains in central Nigeria has killed at least 28 people, with many others still missing, while also destroying homes, bridges, farmland, and farmlands, officials said. And what else did I want to cover? Uh, alert level raised for uh, Satara volcano in Colombia. The recent, the recent increases in seismic activity under the volcano prompted uh, the, to raise the alert level from yellow to orange yesterday afternoon. I, did, I believe I did report on that one. And a source of mysterious pumice raft in Pacific has been found. The source is an enormous floating mass of pumice spotted this week in South Pacific Ocean off the coast of New Zealand has been discovered. NASA satellite images and other um, sleuthing sciences have pinpointed an erupting undersea volcano uh, called the HAVRE -E, H A V R E Seamount as the culprit. So that makes three volcanoes erupting in the greater New Zealand area, in and around. False reports of California earthquakes are caused by Russian 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake. Uh, the 7.7 .7 earthquake in the sea of, uh, off the coast of eastern Russia did not cause any reports, reported damages or injuries, but it did cause numerous fault positive reports of earthquakes in California, a U.S. Geological Survey official said on Monday night. And uh, they put these five point whatever uh, earthquakes up on the list and took them back off, and then some mistake because this is an automatic thing they're saying. So uh, the 5.0 earthquakes did not happen in California. But of course, we had another major quake, 7.7. .7. Nearly 1,000 earthquakes recorded over Arizona over three years. Um, they're saying uh, Arizona's a lot more geologically uh, unstable than they thought before. These aren't major earthquakes, these wouldn't be felt by you, uh, but they've put um, meters around the state and they're saying it's a lot more active than they thought it was. Just goes to show, they're still learning. And over to the extinction protocol, simmering giant, 38 gas emissions reported from Mexico's uh, Popo Volcano, that's the one just off from Mexico City where 20 million people reside. Uh, Army worm outbreak threatens China grain output. Here we go with the food supply again. The army worm outbreak in China's key grain producing areas has posed a major threat to the corn and rice crops this year. The agricultural ministry has warned the local governments to, to heed to its pest control advice and to ensure grain security, uh, the China Daily reported. We haven't seen such a pest plague in so many places in almost a decade. And uh, they're going to spend about three and a half million dollars to fight these bugs try to save some of that crop. And 62 wildfires blaze through western United States, fanned by strong winds and searing temperatures. A whip by high winds, a wildfire in central Washington state has scorched 26,000 acres and destroyed at least 60 homes, officials said Tuesday. The fire ranging near uh, C. Elum is one of, the, of several devastating western states this week. Colorado paid the price earlier this summer. Uh, now new wildfires are burning through the sagebrush. Grass and beetle killed lodgepole pines in California, Oregon, Nevada, Washington, and Idaho. 
In all, 62 fires, including 16 new large fires, were burning as of Tuesday. And over to the watchers quick. A uh, nuclear reactor in Connecticut is shut down due to excessive seawater temperatures. Now this 37-year-old nuclear reactor Unit 2, a milestone nuclear power station in Connecticut, was shut down on Sunday, August 12th, as seawater used in cooling the reactor sec um, soared to 76.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, that's 24.83 Celsius. The 880 megawatt reactor was shut down by the Dom Dominion Power, who operates a facility under the reactor safety rules. The cooling water can be no higher than 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, temperatures this summer are the warmest we've had since the operations began here, he went on to say. Now, Japanese, uh, Japan had to do a similar thing with Fukushima. They had to put in cooling units um, to attach to the intakes to cool these reactors because the water temperatures were just getting too high. Um, unsafe, 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 no matter what you tell. Um, Solar Watcher, a YouTube channel here, um, got popped up on a video he did on polar motion animation uh, between 1973 and 2012. And you can clearly see uh, the way the, the video goes, how the, the, with the rotation, the pole is shifting. And uh, it is definitely moving. So definitely, uh, I'll attach a link to that video to this one, of course, so you can watch it. And a new mountain found on the ocean floor off the coast of Iceland. And rising global food prices. Food price index up 6% as this food crisis continues. And they're definitely gearing it up even in the mainstream news. So stock up while you can. It's a good investment. Save you money in the long run. Over to the RSOE quick, uh, the earthquake reports coming out of Iran, over 300 deaths, uh, entire villages crumbled down, people afraid to go back into their houses, uh, shortage of tents and coats and, and uh, supplies, and uh, the basic necessities uh, for these, uh, the Iranian people. Uh, their government declared that everybody's been unburied, uh, but there's still reports of people missing, of course and uh, they are having problems getting out into the rural areas due to the excessive damage. Flash flooding in the Philippines, a national capital region, uh, Quezon City. Um, just the madness continues in the Philippines. They've been diluted with their monsoons uh, over and over again. Well, they got a report uh, on that sinkhole in Assumption Parish, Louisiana. Uh, RSOE use soft gloves in their report. I will cover it off of e, &E uh, more extensively here in a little bit. Flooding in uh, Canada, province of Saskatchewan, the James Smith First Nation. Uh, extreme weather in Canada, province of Alberta and Calgary. Apparently some window washers got stuck up on this 22nd floor of this, this, this building. They are doing their job. And uh, they, they literally had to break windows to get inside. The storm came through so bad. Some very severe storms. Uh, they're reporting some of the severest they've seen this year. And, of course, the forest fires, Arizona. <laughs> nuclear event in the state of Minnesota. Red Wing, the Prairie Island nuclear power plant. Now, its emergency generators were declared inoperable uh, due to exhaust issues. Uh, they're saying both the d diesel generator pumps has been fixed. Uh, they're just waiting for further inspection to kick back on uh, one of two of the reactors. So they shut down one of the, the number one uh, due to the emergency generators, but the number two is still ongoing 100%. So, so they're saying no, uh, no threat to the community, that kind of thing. Uh, flash flooding in Japan. Torrential downpours and rains. Uh, I think they had a couple, three deaths, some people missing. Uh, just torrential rains and downpours in that in that in that area. And of course, the the forest fires and the volcanoes going off. Uh, there's a lot going on on the RSOE. You might want to check that one out today too. Let's just go ahead and go to the nuclear stuff. Uh, e and &E News official reports that butane release from Salt Cavern could be like H bomb explosion. Are a little bit over the top. Company plan, butane could damage out two-thirds of a mile. Update due by the end of the day. Uh, this thing's a lot worse than they're saying. 
Uh, and again, the stories go on saying that they've known about uh, the possible collapse of this salt dome uh, storage area for over a year now and have done nothing about it. Lawsuits are in fly and the, the, the lawyers have taken over the building. Arnie Gunderson. At this point, my mind is changing. Perhaps best to entomb reactors and come back in 300 years. Now, Arnie, pull your punches. Gunderson is coming out with, let's just cover it up and come back to it in 300 years. Says a lot. A lot. Speaks volumes. <sighs> but they can't stop it from leaching into the Pacific Ocean, so they're just going to let it go. Local TV concern over potential for additional collapse around Louisiana sinkhole. More than five, fifty, more than fifty caverns underground, and they're storing uh, butane. They're saying they don't have to register nuclear waste uh, because it's underground in these salt domes. So there's fifty of these big salt tanks right around this area where this collapse and uh, could just get worse and worse. No telling what's down there and whether they're going to tell us or not. Uh, watch more bubble sites keep appearing at sinkhole. Something's something state of emergency leaders are keeping a very close eye on. Of course, um, they are caught in the middle of it. Louisiana officials request worst case analysis of risk to cavern with almost a million barrels of butane. Concerned about possible release, pipeline was bent when massive sinkhole expanded. Uh, they've shut down three major pipelines that are running right next to this thing. And if they go, no telling what's going on. Comparison images show severe mutation of Japan's butterflies, stump-like wings, and they do have photos of this. Now, the reporter, scary that humans could be affected by mutations too. Could? What happened in Chernobyl? Could? Will. And uh, they will not be able to hide this much longer. ABC evacuation order for fear of potential radiation in Louisiana, Paris. Company officials sinkhole could still grow. And Arnie Gunderson, Japan government attempting to cover up health effects. Uh, a lot of deformities and cancers will be identified by citizens in the next couple of years, of course. And it's pretty clear something has gone wrong with the ecosystem, says a Japanese re researcher. Now, that's an understatement. And a sheriff is particularly irritated. He had deputies work at the sinkhole while not knowing a possible radiation leak. Excuse Freya chewing on one of her toys, making that noise there. And, uh, yeah, details of sinkhole dimensions emerged. 250% size of earlier reports. One area so deep it exceeded the length of measuring rope. Uh, nearly bubbling. Official may be rabbit holes or cracks in the earth. And I will leave you with that today. Of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Uh, attach your comments or videos below. It's a beautiful day. Enjoy it while you can. Thank you.